Hey everybody, if you've been waiting for the all-electric Volkswagen ID buzz to come to the United States, it's finally happening. Finally. And this is what it's going to look like. I'm Tom Volk in a studio in Los Angeles, California for a sneak peek at the Volkswagen ID Buzz. Now, this is the American version. It's three row. The European version is two row. This is more powerful. It's longer. It's got a bigger battery because, you know, America. When it comes to size, it dwarfs the original bus, which was about the size of the new Beetle. Seriously. 10 inches longer than the two-row ID Buzz. If you know your VWs, that's around eight inches shorter than Atlas, the same width, and five inches taller. Like the new Beetle that came out some 25 years ago, VW is going for nostalgia with the ID Buzz. Certainly, it doesn't look exactly like the old one, but there are design cues like short overhangs, an available two-tone paint treatment, plus a big old VW badge up front. As far as range goes, Volkswagen has not given any official numbers. You want Easter eggs? The ID Buzz has them all over the vehicle. A little nod to Seattle here. Like the original bus, this is rear wheel drive. All wheel drive is available. The electric motor makes 282 horsepower and 406 pound feet of torque. That's more powerful than the 201 horse unit that Europe gets. Move up to dual motor all wheel drive and the output is 330 horsepower. On this side of the pond, we get a 91 kilowatt hour gross battery pack compared to an 82 kilowatt hour pack on the European side. If you're looking to go fast, US versions will hit 99 miles an hour. The European model is limited to 90. Paint colors include energetic orange, pomelo yellow, mahi green, cabana blue, metro silver, and indium gray. Again, some of them will be available as two tones. Moving inside, it's very spacious as minivans are. Remember, vans are awesome, and this one is even more so. It seats either six or seven, the battery pack provides a low center of gravity, and yet you sit high in the ID Buzz. That's what everybody wants these days. The cabin will be available in three color choices. Fancy ambient lighting is standard, choose between 30 colors. Want more room? The center console is removable. The interior is airy with lots of glass. In row two, windows do not roll down, they slide open, just like the old bus. The optional panoramic sunroof has electrochromatic glass, so if there's lots of sun, you just darken it by push button. Volkswagen has heard your cries when it comes to the user interface and has improved it with more direct access to the main screen. A heated steering wheel and seats are standard, by the way. All in all, the ambiance is the best I've seen in a Volkswagen in a long time. Nice materials, though this is pre-production. Row two can be had with captain's chairs or a bench. There are all sorts of things to keep people happy, including standard heated chairs. I like the seat back trays. The second row seats can be folded down, though not into the floor. There's a 60-40 split. The bench can be moved four and aft some eight inches. The third row is actually usable for adults. There's plenty of room. And you're how tall? Six foot four. Wow. Yeah. Really quickly, the third row is incredibly spacious. I'm five foot nine, and I have no issues at all. Plenty of headroom, plenty of knee room, plenty of leg room. This is going to be great for the family. Gotta love the booties. As far as features and little cubbies and phone charging ability, the Buzz does pretty well. A kick to open tailgate is standard, uh, something that folks in the 60s never even dreamed of. Behind the third row, there's a good amount of cargo room. The second and third rows fold flat. Row three can be removed. This is a lot of space to fill up, folks. ID Buzz is going to be very useful. Oh, you know what I just realized? There's a handle here. Yes. It's a piece of luggage. So you can literally just carry drive it out and then take An optional adapter with a couple storage bins makes for a flat floor with the seats dropped. And if that makes you think about camping, I can say for certain my wife would buy one in a heartbeat. So Volkswagen, that's one sale. 
So you've been waiting all this time. When is it going to hit the U.S.? Well, Volkswagen is being a little cagey. They say sometime in 2024. Uh, that could be December, so it could be a year and a half from now. I'm going to guess the summer of 2024. And unfortunately, I don't have any pricing for you. There you go. That's everything I know about the Volkswagen ID Buzz. Remember, subscribe to this channel, click notifications, follow me on social media, and if you have a question, leave it in the comments. I'll try to get to it. That's Driven. I'm Tom Bolton.